Now to begin round 28, if you're changing colors at this point, you would change your, your color. If not, you would just continue with the instructions. So to change my color, I'm going to bring my white into the loop and just pull it tight. Now for round 28. For round 28, we will begin with a chain one and then we would do a single crochet into the same chain two space from the previous round. And we will also work in our tails. We will chain one and we will skip the next nine stitches and work in the 10th stitch a single crochet. The tails we don't have to bring with us, you can leave them there. So you know if you're doing it correctly, if the middle one here, the center one is number five, then you've counted it correctly, four on each side, five at the middle. And then the 10th one we will do a single crochet. After the single crochet we will chain three, then we will skip the next stitch, work in the next one a single crochet, then we will repeat, chain three, skip the next stitch, work in the next one a single crochet, and then we will chain one. And then we were back here. We will skip the next nine stitches and work in the tenth one a single crochet. So that's the pattern all the way around for round 28. We will, after we do our single crochet chain one, we will skip the next nine stitches. In the tenth one, we'll do single crochet chain three, skip the next one, work in the next one, single crochet chain three, skip the next one, work in the next one, single crochet chain one, and then we will skip the next nine and work again. So that's the pattern all the way around. I will meet you at the end of this round. At this point, you can cut your second color if you have a second color, because we are now done with the blue. So for the remainder of this doily, we are not going to be changing our colors anymore. I'm going to continue working with my white. So here we are at the end of the round 28. To finish it off, I will do my last single crochet, and then we will, are here to join. We will do a chain one, and do a half double crochet into the beginning single crochet of the round. And that creates our last chain three space. So here we are for round 29. For round 29, we will begin with a chain one and we will single crochet in the same chain three space. Now we will chain five. One, two, three, four, five. We will skip the chain one space and we will work in the next chain three space, a single crochet. We will chain four. We will work in the next chain three space, single crochet, chain five. Skip the next chain one space, work in the next chain three space, a single crochet, chain four. Work in the next chain three space, a single crochet, and chain five. So that's the pattern for this round. After we chain five, we will skip the next chain one space, work in the chain three space, a single crochet. Then we will chain four, and single crochet in the next chain three space. Then we will chain five, skip the next chain one space, and work in the next chain three space, a single crochet, chain four, and repeat all the way around. I will meet you at the end of this round. Here we are at the end of round 29 to finish it off. I have my last single crochet in this final chain space. Now I'm at the beginning chain space. To connect it, I will chain one and do a double crochet into the beginning single crochet. And that creates our final chain four space. For round 30, we'll begin with a chain one and we will single crochet in the same space that we just made. Chain five three, four, five, single crochet in the next space, chain five, single crochet in the next space, chain five. So that's the pattern all the way around. Chain five, single crochet in the next space. Chain five, single crochet in the next space. All the way around, I will meet you at the end of this round. So here I am at the end of my round. I am on my last chain four space, chain five space, and the beginning single crochet is here. 
So I did my chain five, and I'm going to do my single crochet in the next chain four space. At this point though, I'm going to also mark my stitch. So I'm just going to take a piece of string, wrap it around my hook, and just complete my single crochet. And that's just going to mark this place here. Now I'm going to chain 5, and in the last chain 5 space I'm going to do the same thing. Mark my place again. And complete a single crochet. Now we'll chain two and double crochet into the first single crochet to form a last chain five space. Piece will look like this so far. At this point as well, I'm going to insert another stitch marker and just tie it around here loosely to mark this last stitch. Like that. So here we are for round 31. For round 31, we will begin with a chain one, and we will single crochet in the same chain space that we just created. Now we will chain five, and we will single crochet in the next chain five space, and chain five. So that's the pattern all the way around for round 31 and for round 32. For round 31 and 32, they're both going to be the same pattern. Chain 5, single crochet in the next chain 5 space, chain 5, single crochet in the next chain 5 space. Now when you get to the end of round 31 and round 32, when you finish your last single crochet here, because this is the beginning one here, where we did our first single crochet, when you finish your final one, you will chain 2 and do a double crochet into the beginning single crochet to complete your chain 5 space. Then for round 32, that's the end of round 31, for round 32 you will do the same process, chain 1, single crochet into the same space that we just created, and then chain 5, single crochet in the next chain 5 space, chain 5, single crochet in the next chain 5 space, all the way around, and then when you get to your final chain 5 space you will single crochet in there, chain two and then do a double crochet into the beginning single crochet to form your final chain five space. So that's the pattern all the way around. I will meet you at the end of round 32. So you will do 31, which is what we are on now, and then you will do 32, and at the end of 32 I will meet you here. So here I am at the end of round 32. To connect it I will chain two and do a double crochet into the beginning single crochet. like that. And that creates my last loop. So here I am on round 33, the final round. For this we will begin with a chain one and we will do two single crochet in the same loop that we just created. One, two. Now we will work a beginning split six treble crochet cluster. So to do that we have to look at the three markers that we had at the previous rows, one, two, and three. So we will first yarn over twice, insert our hook into the front of the first one. So the first one, the second one, the third one, these single crochets here, into the first one. So we're going to insert our hook into the stitch like that. So yarn over twice, insert your hook into the first one, to the stitch, yarn over, pull loop through, 
four loops on hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And we're going to do that once more. Yarn over twice, and choose your hook into the same stitch. Pull loop through. Five loops on hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Now we have three loops on our hook. So now we're going to work into the second stitch right here, the second one. The same thing, so yarn over twice, insert your hook into that stitch, yarn over, pull through. You have six loops on hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. I'm going to repeat that yarn uh, one, one more time, yarn over twice, insert your hook into the same stitch, pull loop through. You have seven loops on hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Now you have five loops on your hook. Then we're going to do it for the last one here. Yarn over twice, insert your hook into the last marked stitch. Pull loop through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over twice, insert your hook into the last marked stitch again, the same one, pull through two, pull through two. So at the end, you know you've done it correctly if you have seven, seven loops on your hook. And one, two, three, four, five, six, six legs and seven loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over, pull through all seven loops. Now we're going to single crochet in the next chain five space. So the first one right here, we did already. The second one is this empty one here. We're going to do two single crochet into there. One two like that. Now we're going to work a two double crochet cluster in the next single crochet. So the next single crochet right here, two double crochet clusters. So yarn over once, insert your hook into that single crochet, pull loop through, three loops on hook, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, insert your hook into the same stitch, pull loop through, four loops on hook, yarn over, pull through two, three loops on hook, yarn over, all, pull through all three loops. After our two double crochet cluster, we are going to chain two, one, two, and we're going to do a pico. So in the pico, we're going to take this, see this top stitch here of our two double crochet cluster. In the front loop, the one that's facing us, we are going to do a slip stitch like that for the pico. So after we do our pico, we will chain one and then we will repeat in the same single crochet stitch. Yarn over, insert your hook, pull loop through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, insert your hook, pull loop through, yarn over, pull through two, Three loops on hook, yarn over, pull through all three loops. We've done a two double crochet cluster, now we're going to do a pico, chain two, into the top of the two double crochet cluster, the front loop. We will do a single crochet, a slip stitch. Chain one, and we're going to do that one more time into the same stitch. So we're going to have three picots, three picots and three two double crochet clusters in this same single crochet. Yarn over, insert your hook into the single crochet, pull loop through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, insert your hook, pull loop through, yarn over, pull through two, three loops on hook, yarn over, pull through all three loops. Chain two, and do a slip stitch into the top of the two double crochet cluster, the front loop. And there we have it, the third one. Now we're going to do two single crochet in the next chain five space. One, two, and then we are going to do our six treble crochet cluster. Now after we do our two single crochet in the chain five space, we are working on a, our six treble crochet cluster once again. So the three stitches we're gonna work that into is the same stitch that we did our last six treble crochet cluster in. So that single crochet, the last one here, we're going to do our first one. The second one will be the next one. And the third one will be the next one. So those are the three stitches we're going to be working our cluster into. And just to clarify, we're not going to be working our clusters into the top single crochet. So we have a single crochet at the top here and one below it. It's the one below at this row, row 30, that we're going to do our single crochet, that we're going to draw clusters into these single crochets here. Okay, so not the top, not the top ones, but the ones below it, all the way around. So we're going to start with the one that we have our last leg into and we're going to move on to this one and this one will create our clusters. So 
So we're going to begin, yarn over twice, insert your hook into the single crochet from our last leg, pull loop through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, one more time, yarn over twice, insert your hook into the same stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, you should have three loops on hook. Now we're going to move to the next single crochet, yarn over twice, and insert your hook into the next one. Pull loop through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. One more time, yarn over twice, insert your hook into the same stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Five loops on hook. One more time into the next single crochet, yarn over twice, insert your hook into the last one. Pull loop through, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over twice, insert your hook, pull loop through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And you should have seven loops on your hook. Now you will yarn over and pull through all seven loops. You should have seven loops and six legs. And now we're going to do two single crochet in the next chain five space, which is here. So it's this one right here. Okay. Single crochet, two single crochet, one, two, and now we will do two double crochet cluster and a pico chain one for a total of three times in the next single crochet. So the next single crochet at the top here, okay, like this. Double crochet cluster, chain two, and complete a pico. Chain one, two double crochet cluster. Chain two, complete a pico. Chain one, and final third two double crochet cluster. Chain two, and a pico, and of course the last one we do not do a chain one, instead we single do two single crochet in the next chain five space. One, two, like that. And now we're back at our six treble crochet cluster where we will do the first one into the same single crochet as the last legs of our last treble crochet clusters. So into there, that single crochet. The first one, the second one will be here in this single crochet, and the third one will be in this single crochet here. Okay? So that's the pattern all the way around. After we do our two single crochet in the chain five space, we are ready at our six treble crochet cluster. We will do the first two legs in the first single crochet, the second two legs in the second single crochet, the third two legs in the third single crochet. We have seven loops on our hook, yarn over, pull through all seven loops, and that'll create this. And then we will do two single crochet in the next chain five space. And then we are at our single crochet here at the very top. We will do three, two double crochet clusters with a pico on top and a chain one in between. Two double crochet cluster, pico, chain one, two double crochet cluster, pico, chain one, two double crochet cluster, pico. The last one we do not do a chain one. Instead, we do two single crochet into the next chain five space like this. And then after that single crochet, we are at our cluster once again. So that's the pattern all the way around. I will meet you at the end of this round. So here I am at the end of my round, and it looks like this. Now I'm never too sure if I did something wrong with this round or not, but if yours looks like mine, this is how I'm just going to fix it. We have everything completed so far. We just have this small space over here. That's not enough to fit a full six treble crochet cluster. So what I'm going to do is I've done my last pico. I'm going to slip stitch into the next two of our beginning single crochet. So the first one a slip stitch and the second one a slip stitch. Now, because I have enough space for one of the three treble crochet clusters, I'm going to do the first one. Pull 
through two, pull through two, and one more time. Pull through two, pull through two. And then we're at our first six treble crochet cluster from the beginning. So because I don't have any more space left to do another six treble crochet cluster, I'm just going to, at the very top where the beginning clusters point into here, I'm going to just do a slip stitch into all three loops, like that. And that'll secure it. And then I have finished. Afterwards, I'm going to cut my tails and sew it all in. Same with the back, any remaining tails, I'm going to cut them and sew them in. And then we have completed our piece. The last step is to block it so that all the, all the fibers loosen up and relax a bit more. And then there you have it. So we've created our center, we've created our shells, our pineapples, created the border and the final border. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Please check out my other videos on my channel and subscribe for more videos. Now to block it, I'm just taking a piece of cardboard and taking just pins and I'm pinning it into the cardboard so that it's flat and firm to the way that I like it. And then I will take just an iron, fill it with water and put it onto the steam section and just start steaming it. and then that will loosen up the fibers. And when I'm done, I will take it off. Once it's dried, then it'll be good to go. So there are many ways to block it. This is just how I block it.